All right, let me hit this Coke. I'm here with Piper. This episode we are talking about a solution to air mattresses when you travel overland, motorcycle camping, whatever, to keep yourself off the ground. Let's get into that and talk more about it. Okay, what we're talking about today is the Helinox Cot. Piper and I can fight over who gets to use it first. Okay, you can see it assembled here. Very, very lightweight. You're able to just carry it anywhere. When disassembled, it travels in this nice waterproof pouch, which can go in a pannier or on the back of your motorcycle or in or on your truck somewhere. You will see... Whoa, whoa. Baby steps, please right there in the corner, you'll see film shots of me assembling this. So I wanna share with you guys just some really neat tips for this. These legs look like they won't go on. You have to mount one side on the, on the floor or ground where you're at and lean on it and then pop in this side. You can position, there's five position points for the legs as well. I did these two just to go quick during the video, but I could also have this be here or vice versa. You can play around with it. I think when I use it motorcycle camping, I'll have one of the legs here and then one of the legs right here. So very happy with this, even though it was $349, I feel, and I hope you guys agree with me, that this is superior to uh, an air mattress. There's a lot of different air mattresses on the market and some are too big and some are too small and some don't puff, puff up enough. There's no reason why you couldn't carry this uh, even backpacking. It is so lightweight. I cannot over iterate that with everybody watching this video. The thing I like about it is, especially if you're backpacking and you're sleeping completely out in the open, it keeps you off the ground. Cause you know, you don't know what bugs or what critters at night while you're sound asleep are going to be on the ground underneath you. Also, it keeps you off the ground so you don't get cold. So if you can just imagine my two content being open, this inside of it, the sleeping bag on top of it, it can hold two people. It might seem kind of narrow with two people on their side not a problem max weight is 265 pounds is that that's my understanding when it's packed when it's in this thing here right and you're traveling the measurements on this are 20.5 by 5 by 5 when packed it is small enough for most panniers on most motorcycles slightly larger than an inflatable pad i think that's kind of debatable now i had seen a great write-up on this cot in the august 2021 issue of roadrunner magazine we subscribe to roadrunner magazine here as far as i'm concerned that is the best motorcycle publication that you'll find that's it's called roadrunner check it out they are unbiased subjective and very fair with all their reviews they offer free maps to put on your tank bags and it's just a great publication and you'll pick up on some great products too for your motorcycles with roadrunner it is the best cycle publication in, in our opinion I, I hope a lot of people agree with us there assembly and disassembly is time consuming but it gets quicker over time this is what roadrunner had written back in 2021 my thoughts there are once you figure out the trick of keeping one side on the ground to pop the legs in assembly goes pretty quick it's nothing to put the poles in the cot so i think assembly and disassembly are pretty quick back in 2021 i said august but it was really june the june issue of roadrunner magazine and i had seen this as well on amazon the price for the helen x lightweight cot was 249 dollars. that price has now gone to 349 dollars, and you can get this cot either Helinox, H-E-L-I-N-O-X.com or at Amazon where we got this one. Very happy with it. Now, videos are great. I've made it clear in so many other videos that we're fans of quality. We're not fanboys. This is very high quality. I see this lasting a long time. It's two biggest advantages. Well, maybe three are it's lightweight. It's very rugged and durable, high quality, easy to carry with you, carry around. Obviously it's comfortable compact and lightweight. When it's set up like this, it's 26.5 inches wide, my cheat sheet, 74.5 inches in length. Again, it's keeping you off the ground. If you own a goose 
or Tucon wingman of the road like we do tent, you would just pull out that foam mattress that they provide, which, which isn't very good. It gets dirty quick and just put this in the bottom of your tent. It'll go on either tent easily and you'll have a much better experience. I know in Michigan, more often than not, camping surfaces are very hard with rocks. I don't know why it's that way, but it's that way. Unless you're on the beach or on really soft ground, you're going to want a cot for your Toucan or Goose wingman of the road tent. What? And I think in general, if you just have a regular tent, I would recommend this too. It, very, very comfortable. I'm not going to film me laying on it, but take, take my word for it. it. It forms to your body and keeps you off the ground and it's very comfortable. Very excited to be using this motorcycle camping this year. Cannot wait. Yes! Disassembly is pretty quick. You would just take the leg here. You can see this. Pop it off. Do this three more times and then pull the, the pole out here, which is collapsible and um, everything packs right here in this. Okay, here's so. the Helinox lightweight cot set up against the Rocket 3 GT. Really nice, super nice fabric. Seems tough and durable, definitely waterproof. And we are going to carry this this year on our camping trips. And then here, we've got our, way up here, our Toucan Wingman of the Road. Just wanna say thank you to everyone for watching an ep another episode from On Down the Road Productions. I hope this information is valuable to you. You know, in our motorcycle camping journey, we have made purchases we probably shouldn't have made. Probably should have started with this instead of an air mattress, period. So take that as a tip. We appreciate everyone for taking their time we appreciate you for taking your time to watch our videos and participate on our platform on Down the Road Productions. Uh, we do have a, um, I, think you, I think you guys know this, I'm a U.S. Air Force veteran. I do all these videos out of pocket. If you ever want to uh, donate and help us out with our expenses, I don't ask for it. Uh, feel free to do so. There's a link in the description or a button, whatever they call it. Uh, we'd appreciate that, but you don't have to. Uh, we're doing this from our hearts, and, and uh, if you ever decide you want to help us out, that, that, that's up to you. Remember, take care of each other, be the best you can. Until next episode, thank you so very much. You guys have a great day.